the disgusting truth about sexuality during World War II. It's been around 80 years since World War II, and in the modern day, we think of it as a glorious war. In reality, though, it was far more complex. There were also some disgusting sexual things that went on during the war to end all wars. Detaining women. With the war raging on, ensuring soldiers could keep fighting was paramount for the US. However, STDs were a big issue for soldiers overseas. If a soldier caught something and was incapable of fighting, that was one less soldier against the Axis. The government would actually round up women who had STDs and forcefully treat them to prevent the spread of diseases among troops. There's an infamous poster telling soldiers about STDs with the phrase, she may look clean, but French woman. As American soldiers pushed further into Europe, specifically into France after D-Day, generals and other officers faced an issue. The troops were tired, incredibly tired. They needed something to motivate them. Beyond the thought of fighting Nazis, officers began to tell their soldiers about beautiful French women waiting to reward the soldiers. In the book, What Soldiers Do, the author describes this tactic and the absolute travesties it led to. Widespread disease. Disease and war seem to sadly go hand in hand. World War II was no exception. There's a reason that the She May Be Clean poster was so prevalent. During World War II, there was no shortage of widespread STDs. Soldiers would often go out and have their way with women as a means of distracting themselves from the conflict at hand. It provided short-term satisfaction, sure, but the long-term consequences were devastating. The German army alone lost more men to disease than to enemy soldiers. Military brothels. This goes hand in hand with the widespread sexual diseases soldiers faced while they were fighting on the front lines. American officers weren't the only military leaders to try and appeal to their troops more primal wants. But the Nazis took it a step further. German officers actually provided their troops with entire brothels. These women were cleaner than the other women troops might engage with. That's certainly one way to relieve your troops while also keeping them in fighting shape. World War II may seem a glorious war, but there were some disgusting sexual things that occurred during the Great War. From STDs ravaging soldiers to those same soldiers being given prostitutes, we've covered some of these facts. There's still so much more to discuss though, so keep watching. The ugly carnivals. American soldiers landed at Normandy were convinced to fight for French women, yes. But there was an even darker side to this already dark side of the invasion. After Vichy, France was liberated from its German occupiers, soldiers began to do something disturbing. If a woman was suspected of having worked with the Germans during the occupation, they would have their hair forcibly shaved and shamed. In some instances, these women would even be beaten or outright killed. The Holocaust. The Holocaust is infamous, and for good reason. The atrocities that occurred against Jewish people, gays, gypsies, and other minority groups were atrocious. But murder wasn't the only thing that happened in the Holocaust. There was also widespread rape by Nazi soldiers. There's a story of a Jewish woman being violated by Nazis before being attacked and killed by a dog. Comfort woman. Let's shift from the European theater to the Pacific theater. Of course, another key member of the Axis powers was the Imperial Japanese Empire. They committed atrocities just like the Germans. Specifically, the Japanese army utilized what was referred to as comfort women. As they conquered and occupied the Pacific, these soldiers would force women into sexual slavery. These women were lured from their homes with false promises of things like work and protection. But there are also accounts of women being kidnapped. Sadly, a large number of these comfort women were also minors. 